Within the last year, artificial intelligence chatbots have proven to be incredibly disruptive. As students return to the classroom, experts expect that to continue. Fox 5's David Kaplan is live in Friendship Heights after speaking with an expert on AI and classrooms. David, what did you learn? Well, Sierra, our colleague Tisha Lewis did a great story a couple weeks ago, sort of surveying all the K through 12 districts in the DMV, asking if they had a policy as it relates to artificial intelligence. Most of them got back to Tisha, said, look, they know it exists and they're still studying it, trying to come up with the best policy that they can. With that in mind, we spoke to Ryan Watkins. He's a professor at George Washington University, sort of studies the intersection of all things education and technology. He says that right now, the the start of the school year, whether K through 12 colleges or universities is a good time for students, parents and schools to really be thinking critically about this. Take a listen. Working with your instructors is probably the best way to figure out where it can really help accelerate your learning and prepare you for the future and where not to take those shortcuts where you're just going to really harm yourself in the long run. So the ethical concerns about all this are clear. Used improperly, it can lead to those shortcuts and students not really learning anything or turning in their own work. But Watkins, who's an advocate for having this in the classroom, says it's already present in schools and emphasizes it is best used as a supplemental tool. The districts need to be thoughtful about what's allowed, what's not allowed, and make sure that's communicated. Easier said than done, given how rapidly this technology is changing. Some districts banned it at points all together last year, a move Watkins believed was a knee-jerk reaction. But I think they quickly realized that this is a tool that the students will have available to them on their smartphones, at their workplace. And how are you going to prepare them for the future if you're not letting them use the technologies of the future? So I think a lot of school districts have been trying to walk that tight line of how do we make it available, but then how do we have good content and uh, prepared for the students so that they know how to use it wisely and ethically when they get to the classroom. And we're still figuring that out. Now, David, we don't want students getting in trouble with this new technology. So give us an example of an ethical versus unethical use of these chatbots in the classroom. Yeah, so let's walk through this for a second. If you were to say have to write an essay and just put the prompt in a chat bot and it spit out an essay and it turned that in, well, there are clear issues with that, both ethically as well as the student probably not learning anything. But this supplemental component that we were talking about, that Watkins was talking about, if you had, say, a test the next day and you wanted some potential sample questions on the topic that the test was on, you could ask for 20, 30, 40, 50 questions to make sure you have a mastery of the material. So just a micro example example of what is a macro thing that we are seeing more and more here in classrooms, Sierra. Good to know. Thank you, David.